We looked in the last video lesson about inserting fields into a document using the insert field dialog box. The next type of field I want to have a look at is one of my favorites. It allows you to do calculations in a table. It's a formula field. And we can get to that by clicking on this formula button or using table formula. Before you do that though, you've just got to make sure you are in the right cell. I've got um, some rainfall here for, it's in my Cockermouth document, and it's rainfall in Cockermouth for the various months. And at the bottom here, I want to put the total. So that's where I'm going to put my calculation. So I'm going to do table, formula, and the, the computer picks up that I've got a table and that I want to add up all the numbers above where I'm going to put the answer. So I'll just click on OK. And there you can see with the grey shading that we've got a field in the document and it's added up all those numbers. Because it's a field, it's automatically updated. So if I change any one of these, let's make that 100 to make it very different, and then update the field by right-clicking and update, you can see it automatically adds up those numbers again to reflect the changes that I made. Also using the right click button, we know from the previous video that we can edit the field, which allows us to make modifications. In this particular instance, we then need to click on the formula button, and there's our formula dialog box back up. We can change the display of the numbers by using the number format, and we can make it display in all kinds of different ways. For example, we could make the numbers currency. And OK. And there we are. That doesn't make particular sense with these numbers, but it just shows the effect. So that was right-clicking, edit the field, back into the formula dialog box, and changing the number format. Let's change it back to just zero decimal places and OK, and there it's reverted back. If all the formulas could do was add up, it wouldn't be that useful, but it's a lot more powerful than that. If I edit the field again, back into the formula dialog box, there are a whole range of functions that we can put in to our table. Using this paste function is really not as intuitive as it could be. Because if I want to use a maximum, for example, it seems to add it to my formula. So really the best thing to do is delete the formula, put in your equals sign, and then choose the function that you want to use. And then inside the brackets, you've got to tell it what to do the calculation on. So I want to choose the cells above me. If the numbers were to the left, I would type left in there and it would find the maximum number of all the numbers to the left of where I'm at now. Or I could use right, or I could use below. But obviously the way the table is, all the numbers are above. There we are, it's found the maximum value, which should be 100. Yes, it is. Okay, we can change that number to make that 1 and update the field. It's found the new maximum value, which is 13. So that's changing the type of calculation that we can do. So we've looked at the formatting of the numbers. We've looked at the different functions that you can use. And there's one more thing we can do. You may not be familiar with spreadsheets. Um, but we can use this like a spreadsheet. So we can actually type in something like B1 plus B2. And I'll show you what that means by closing down this dialog box. Just remember those numbers, B1 plus B2. The way that works is that in a table, this is column A. This is column B. This is row 1, row 2, row 3. So when you combine those, this cell is column B, 
row 1. So the cell is called B1. This cell is called B2. So in the calculation, I asked it to add together B1 plus B2. 1 plus 13 is 14, and there's the answer. So we can use it like a spreadsheet. We can put lots of different types of calculations in here. We don't have to add. We can do multiplications, for example. 1 times 13 is 13. So that's formula fields in a table.